Welcome to today's episode of the Yelp Yelp Show. Well, there you have it. Two pigs down again, had another double drop. This makes 59 total pigs between this trap and across the creek on that trap. Uh, two landowners, but these hogs are just very close together. So 59. Now, let's go to the next job and get this YouTube really started. Well, we are set up in the next spot looking here. We are up in the woods. I got the Chevy up in here. Y'all don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you can do. Go to yawkyawk.com. Check out the fan subscription thing that we got going on. <laughs> anyway, so I got here. I actually set this trap up yesterday. It doesn't look like we had any action, but look, I forgot my hammer. And you use a hammer to drive the T-post in the ground to be able to put your camera on. Well, I had some zip ties, so I zip tied everything to the tree. And we are set up just waiting on, oh, we got our green lights. So oh, the hog guy camera system, live action. Using the hog guy camera system allows you real time live action to make you a better trapper and catch as close to 100% of those pigs that are coming in as possible. So that being said, we're on a new place. I think it's only five or six pigs here, but we've got a camp right up here and we'll show you that later in the video. But right now we're just gonna get out of here Mainly because I'm hot and I'm ready to take a break. I'm ready to take a break. Any which way? <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but a new job. So let's get this Chevy out of here. And let's roll on until the pigs come on. Come on. <laughs> I hit my head on something. <sighs> All right, guys. Next morning, you probably what you just saw was the uh, we caught some piglets in a trap, the trap that we left over in uh, Crawford, Mississippi. And uh, anyway, I come by to get a battery. I got to take this to the other spot to where uh, we set up in the woods. That battery wasn't fully charged, so uh, but this one is. Anyway, we're gonna get the day started. Took the kid to the. Uh, our four-year-old to school first day of school today harlow doesn't start till next week so that's just kind of what we're doing y'all don't forget to get that lucky buck freak factor y'all look at it at your local co-ops tell them y'all yo, yo sent you and i always think barnes crossing of new albany for keeping us on the road anyway looks like my father-in-law is building a new shed down there and uh anyway i'm going to get breakfast and i'm going to get the pigs let's go All right, as you can see, guys, this is this is my uh, father-in-law's place. He's actually getting a new shed uh, building built for his saw mill. He saws a lot of logs. You can see kind of the log yard here. Uh, anyway, big old storm come through here uh, months ago and just tore down and ravished everything out here and just tore everything to the ground. So uh, he decided finally he was able to uh, build him another one. And they actually cut his own logs right here. You can see everything is cut himself other than the, the trusses. And these guys come in here and set it up. So I'm really excited. So we're over here in Matheson, Mississippi. If you need a, a log sawed, call Paul. <laughs> you which way. Just showing a little bit what we got going on. So he's super excited about his new building uh, to saw. And uh, I'm super excited for him. But I can't be dragging that lumber around too much, you know. <laughs> so we got to go catch pig. Anyway, just want to show y'all what's going on. One of my favorite places to eat is the Traceway here in Matheson, Mississippi. I go in here and get me some eggs and bacon, and uh, we'll be on our way. This will help us be on our way to get our day started. So if y'all ever come through Matheson, Mississippi, stop at the Traceway. 
and uh, get you some food. Tell them I sent you. Oh, and my belly's full. Had them two eggs and bacon. <laughs> we all like bacon. But anyway, let's go get these pigs cloudy today so y'all don't be worried about them pigs. They gonna be just fine. And I'll see y'all at the whole trip. There you go. Four little ones right there. Hey, so y'all remember? If I can get my camera turned around here. My hand holding it anyway. Y'all remember when I caught that big group of, of pigs and those were standing on the outside of the trap and then I shot one right up in there? Uh, I shot that one. Well, that's the group uh, that was kind of standing here that I didn't get. They came back. And uh, so I dropped him. I was actually sitting on the toilet. <laughs> this is why I was sitting on the toilet and I was going through Facebook and uh, all of a sudden I got a notification they were here. So uh, the sun is just now coming out. It's been, it's been cloudy. So uh, they're all right. Like I said, uh, they come in here and we got them. So y'all know the deal. Y'all don't need to see me knock them in the head, but uh, uh, 59 plus four, 63 pigs taking off, coming off this Noxie B refuge area. I'm telling you, y'all got any pull? Tell them you need to hire me as a, a trapper over on the Knox to be refuge. Uh, I think it's 55,000 acres. Just think of what I could do. I mean, I caught 63 here and just been sitting on top. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get them knocked in the head and I'll get them loaded up. But That's a good eating side right there, boys. All right. So the one thing, questions that I get a lot of times using this big pig uh, panel trap is uh, why don't I get on this side of the trap by the, by the hog guy camera and shoot them towards the gate so when I pull them up, all I got to do is drag them out from there. A couple of reasons. A lot of times these hogs are actually running around. Uh, so you're just basically shooting them. But what I do like is... If the blood actually does deter hogs, which I haven't seen to have a problem with it, it's just this time of year, uh, I don't know if it does or not, but it seems like, you know, it being hotter and everything, it's got more of a stench to it. Maybe it does, but if I'm shooting pigs, if I shoot a line of pigs and I plan on leaving this trap, I don't want to shoot a line of pigs all around the doors if the blood is deterring animals. I don't want to walk up to the door and be like, oh, what is that? Even though hogs eat anything, uh, it's just one of those things like, it hasn't been a problem, but I don't want it to be a problem. I don't want anything spooked because of death lined up along the edges. So uh, I just assume on these traps, I just assume pull the pins and back the trailer or truck up to that and uh, get them out. That way, if hogs do come in, if it's blood at the back of the trap, it ain't bothering anything for them to come on in. And then they come in here and, and eat. And, and now in these traps, in the panel trap, I like to spread the corn out that way. Oh, it's more room for them than not bull I got bully hogs all the time I guess what I'm trying to say and they'll run them in and out so if they're kind of spread out in here it's okay because we're like 30 foot around or whatever it is you know so anyway that's just kind of a little thing but got the pigs knocked down and load them up in the truck and uh get out of him and then, and then there was one oh. well oh. What's up? Mm. Oh, bloody, bloody. Anyway, pig load up. Let's go feed the family. Okay, guys, I want to show you something real quick. I come back over here in the woods where I was at because that wasn't a full battery and it wasn't charged good. And as you can see, deer have been coming in. Deer and raccoons have been coming in eating the uh, corn and everything. But let me tell you, the hogs have not shown up. It's been two days now and the hogs have not showed up in two nights and really aggravates me. But then I get here and I'm like, God, you looked after me while the pig's not showing up. You see that? The safety pin was still in the trap on this side. So if I'd have dropped it, this pig trap would have dropped half and I wouldn't have got them. So as frustrated as I was, like, where did the hogs go? Where did the hogs go? They didn't show up because if I'd have dropped it, I would have missed them. So the Lord's always looking out for you. You just got to look for the brighter side of it or recognize it and thank Jesus <sighs> when it happens. We're going to get this filled up, a little more corn, and we're going to get out of here. 
but we're gonna pull that safety pan. <laughs> That's for sure. Mm. Oh, we gotta go and pull it. Get our corn set and our old battery, and we'll take this thing to the uh, call shed and put it on the battery charger. Just make sure you load your corn sacks up, lay something on top of them like this battery right here, and it won't be blowing out. Yeah, it's 75 degrees, 22. I got just a little bit of gas in there. Welcome, my friends. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. Saturday morning, I caught some pigs. I'm going to go on and forewarn you. I don't know if I can even show the drop. Uh, I don't even know if I can show the drop. Uh, it was terrible. I caught pigs on top of the head. Uh, I think I got four pigs in there. And uh, I got one on, on his head right now. So actually what I'm doing is trying to see which vehicle got more gas in it. That ain't got much more, so. Uh, looks like we're going in the Chevy. Uh, uh, anyway, we're on our way. It's two o'clock in the morning. And we're supposed to leave it at uh, daylight this morning, headed to uh, up to the Delta to a lake over there with some friends. I woke my wife up, I was pig. She's like, no, you did not. Yes, I did, baby. I'm a pig catcher. And you married to the best one. <laughs> so let's go get these pigs and see if we can't find some gas and uh, do our thing. That's what we do, boo. Well, lucky for us in Matheson, Mississippi, you can actually get uh, gas Two o'clock in the morning, even with the pumps closed. There's a lot, not a lot of places that you can do that, but I saw the light on, so I uh, come on and got me some. Going out of town, man. My wife is gonna be. She don't get mad. She's just gonna be like, "Baby, you gonna be wore out." I'm gonna be like, "No, nah, baby. I'm gonna be tired. I'm gonna be so wore out." <laughs> but look, I'm gonna try to have this drop on the yachtyacht.com for the for the fan subscribers there. Uh, I just think the drop be dropping it on the heads of these uh animals i just don't think they're gonna go for it i mean my buddy over at the mousetrap uh manufacturer he can't even show mousetraps being used so i don't think they're gonna be able to use we'll be there uh i appreciate everybody y'all make sure you subscribe thank you everybody this video might not have any drops in it uh due to lack of i don't know <laughs> me being a dummy <laughs> but anyway uh we can just sit there and talk forever while this gas keeps rolling but anyway uh everybody says i talk too much but God gave me that talent. <laughs> we'll call it a talent if you want to. Anyway, let's get gas. We're going to get on the road, man. We got hogs up under the trap. <laughs> yeah, you can see it took us uh, about 20 minutes to get over, 25 minutes to get over here. We still consider we got gas. But y'all know the greatest deal. Yeah, if you see the gates. Bacon awaits. Smile, you're on camera. Why, well, yes, I am. <laughs> well, let's get this thing unlocked and we're going up through the woods and get those. All right, we headed up the old gravel road up through the woods. No, I ain't got my seatbelt on. Anyway, we headed up in here. Oh, I just realized that I had my shades on. They were laid on the bar this morning. I grabbed them, so I know I didn't need my shades. It's dark. But anyway, we're up in here. Catch you here in just a second, going up through the main woods. So we gotta be real careful up in here. Oh, Y'all seen me up in these woods, but you gotta be careful because you know my vision ain't what it used to be. So I'm running in the trees and Scratching the truck up and everything. I know. Should have brought the Toyota for this one, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, I really didn't think I was going to be able to find gas quick enough. No more gas that was in that Toyota. Ugh. All kind of stuff. But anyway, we're still going through this stuff. All right. Make old shady turn, right? Ooh, I just heard some stuff good from the truck. I really cannot see that there. 
Oh, I just heard that. Anyway. Uh, we got these are young pigs, they're not big pigs, but problem is. This is why I come on. Gotta get him. Take him outside. Anyway, it's just some young pigs. But I do. I need to go on it. We got this one taken care of here. And uh Just that quick. Everything's down. Everything's down. Yeah. And I got to be moving. Like I said, I got to be moving, guys. So, uh, oh man, I hate I missed hog, and I hate that happened. But oh, we'll explain it all here in a little bit. Mm. And there you have it. Four pigs picked up. And uh, closed down that little job. Closed the tailgate up. And uh, we'll go do something with them guys. So, it ain't always, uh, it ain't always pretty. As far as video and stuff, stuff like that, sometimes we just gotta keep rolling, keep moving, and uh, you can kinda see how it goes, but I'm sorry about no drops. Oh, I just lazy with this one right here. You got a little wild. Well, we are back at home. The winter's fired up a little bit, but you can see it's 410. And y'all remember what time we started? Cause I don't. <laughs> anyway, I'm back at home. I gotta call her. I don't have a house key. <sighs> so, I'll have to call her, wake her up, unlock the door. See how this goes? Well, I'm just chilling a little bit. Oh, it's 4.25 over there, what the clock says. Oh, I got a little laundry going. Drink on a little milk. I don't have my Bible with me, but hey, I know a lot of times when it's dark and late, maybe early in the morning, we're struggling through something, our mind gets gets to going. So I just want you to know, just keep the faith, keep praying to God, and uh, just keep it, ask God to be with you. And he will. He's pulled me out of a many situations, mentally, physically, and emotionally. So, uh, but I want to show you real quick why I can't show the drop. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Uh, you can see one picture there, one picture there. So that's basically it. Was it was a pretty? I hate it when I drop them on like that, and it, it, it's a real. It takes a while. So, anyway. Oh, that being said, I'm going to try to put it on the yachtyacht.com. I have a fan subscription over there. If you would like to go and check out some Yacht Yacht merchandise, if you're in the, in the United States, you can get some of that and I can ship it to you. But uh, any which way, he's uh, just going to chill for a little bit, wait on daylight. Me and my wife's headed to uh, hang out with some friends for the night, or tomorrow in the night. So. All right. Everything's packed up, ready to roll. I've been, as y'all see, I've been up all night long. Now I got up this morning, I was packing clothes and I was doing the laundry and, and had to pack the coolers, had to take the hogs and, and take care of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I fell back asleep about 4.30 and just got up and uh, she had everything ready to roll. So any which way, we're going to hang out with some friends on the lake and uh, for the night and then we'll be back. And then I got a surprise for y'all when I get back got something really cool that i don't usually do but we're going to get in with a professional doing it what could it be but any which way we headed to the lake so i want y'all to have a good one god bless and it's out
always Jesus loves you. Smile. <laughs>